Hello guys, welcome back to the Music Empire. And in, in today's lesson, I'm coming to share some sweet progression with you. That is the 36251 progression, okay? And right after that, we will see how we can apply it in so many songs. Yeah, so we get the understanding very well. So, for this lesson, we'll be in the key of C sharp. And then we'll, we'll definitely play in other keys as well, yes. So let's take a look at the scale of C sharp. And then let's dig into our 36251 that we are coming to learn for today. Then we apply them in songs. So C sharp is the 1, E flat is the 2, F is the 3, F sharp, F sharp is the 4, and then G sharp or A flat is the 5, A sharp or B flat is the 6, and then C is the 7, and to 1. So the scale itself is. So let's dig into the chords. Now, what I'm going to show you is very simple. It's this. Yeah. So once again. Yeah, very good. Okay, so now let's break down these chords. So like I said, it's what? Uh, three, six, two, five, one. So on the three... I have an F minor seven. See the three is an F, so I have an F minor seven. So on my right hand, I have the three, five, seven, two. Then on the six, I have an F diminished seventh chord. Okay, okay. So on my right hand, I have the F. Okay. So on my right hand, I have the F, A flat, B, and then D over the six. To the two now on my on my two i have take a look at the two very well on my left hand i have the two and the one on my right hand i have the two four six one okay so it was like da, 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 da. yeah that's the move so Very good. So on the two, I have this and then on the five. The five. The five is an A flat chord, right? So I have the E flat diminished seventh chord, which is the E flat. And then the F sharp. The A and then the C. Okay. Then we can use the same chord that we played on the three for the one. And then this one becomes a C sharp major ninth chord. So over here. It was an F minor seventh chord. Now, if you give the same chord to the C sharp or the D flat, it becomes a C sharp major ninth chord. Okay, so overall we have. Sorry. Now we are doing it in such a way that you can apply this. Uh, today is Friday. You are doing it in such a way that by Sunday you should be able to apply this at your church services and any other program that you find yourself in. So, let's take a song like, let me see, As the Dear. So, uh, See the Azadia part, right? So, there you go. Yeah, so you see, we have just applied it in Azadia right now. Now, Another song that we can apply this in is uh, Jehovah is your name. So let's try with Jehovah is your name and see. So you see, I'm playing this melodically so that you see what I'm doing, right? Like you know where I've reached with the song. So Jehovah. We 
can also play it there. And then um, and then let's let's take one one Ghanaian song. Let me say Dana say so. So then I say two works. I mean, you, now now you can even in, in intensify the applications. Uh, let's say let's let's take a look at this this of Elijah for instance. So. So did you see I applied it? I, I applied it there. Now let me take it slowly for, so that we see it well. So. So declaring the this is it declaring the way of the Lord. So. Okay, then it goes so. The key of heaven to be to be this. Right? To this. Then to That, that would be that would be the same progression. The key of F so See, and it's even possible to apply it in a song like See What The Lord Has Done. I'm intentionally picking random tracks so that you can see how it works with so many songs, okay? So See What The Lord Has Done is in the key of A flat, so let's see. Yeah, but you saw that I applied it, right? So, uh... So, uh... So you see, we applied it there as well, and yeah. So your assignment here from now on will be that look for other songs that you can apply this yeah into. It's very easy for you to fish out, uh, even when when playing during a service. Okay. Now the next major assignment is for you to take it across the rest of the keys. Now this is this is how I play it in C. Down for C sharp, then come to D. So then you come to D. Okay, so uh, oh. then E flat. Then you keep transferring and transferring and transferring. Okay, to the rest of the keys, and then you get used to all of it. So that when the song presents itself, then you put it inside. Now, guys, like I said in the previous video, I'm coming to break down the greatest thy faithfulness again, but this time not like a contemporary hymn, but let me see, a crazy version. Okay, so that we just have some fun around with it. Yes, and that might be in our next lesson. Yes, so stay tuned. 
that would probably be the next lesson okay so god bless you i hope this lesson has been a blessing to you make sure to subscribe if you haven't and also click on your notification and uh, give a comment and a thumbs up as well and let's meet in our next lesson which will probably be great is thy faithfulness crazy version so that we just, we just want to have some fun okay